2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. That's Hebrew. Interpret. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching His word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick one. And um, this morning, you know, when I woke up, I had a, you know, I guess they were, you know, had a spirit on me. You know, I just said, you know, everything is temporal. You know, it was the first few words that came in my mind. And uh, just thinking upon, you know, everything that we have here or we, we're striving to have in this flesh. And it reminds me of uh, King Solomon when Solomon said everything under the sun is uh, is vanity, you know, because, you know, you could work hard for something in the flesh and receive it. But it doesn't mean that it's that is yours forever. You know, we we eventually go back up to the spirit world. And everything that's left here on the earth is uh, given to the next man, or let's say the next person, you know? So understanding the time in which we're living in, you know, we at the end of Esau's kingdom, and the scriptures say Jacob is up next to follow him, you know? You know, looking at everything, you know, I said to myself, you know, everything is temporal, man. It's temporal, as the scripture says. You know, it could be given to you, but it also could be taken away, you know, and then nothing is permanent. The only thing that's permanent, if we be the elect, that our works are they're, they're stored in heaven, you know, and the Most High is not forgetful of our works. You know, even Yahweh Shai told the apostles or, you know, they was the disciples at the time when they was coming up to be the apostles. Uh, he said, if you... Um, you know, if you uh, lose, I'm a roughly paraphrase. He said, if you lose, you know, for my sake, you know, you shall have tenfold. You know, you lose a woman, you lose a child, you know, you lose like, you know, whatever it is, your business, resource, you're going to get even more when the Lord placed that crown upon your head, you know, in the kingdom. All right. So just keep in mind, brothers. That everything here is temporal and it really doesn't matter and the only thing that does matter is this work you know is this truth you know playing out your lot and doing what the Lord said to do all right so I'm gonna start uh, here at the second Corinthians 4 and I start at 14 it says knowing that which knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall, pre shall present us with you, all right? Because it's the Heavenly Father, okay, who raised up Yahweh Shai. And it's Yahweh, it was Yahweh that also gave Yahweh Shai the men who will help Yahweh Shai, you know? While Yahweh Shai is in his, you know, is in the absence, you know, far as the flesh, you know, there are men who were selected, elected, from the spirit world, all right, from the very beginning, okay, that would would uh, continue the work of Yahweh Shah. All right, so Paul, you know, he's telling these, telling the church of Corinth, you know, the righteous men, he says, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. Verse fifteen. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of Yahweh. For which cause we faint not, 
but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And that inward man is the spirit. You know, it's remind me of the scripture where Paul, uh, excuse me, uh, King David, he said, created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Because the inward man gets renewed. You know, our flesh get tainted. Our flesh get weak. Our flesh get distracted. <laughs> willing but the flesh is weak all right so you know the elect they live more for their spirit than they live for the flesh and we have to meditate sometimes in that as we examine ourselves through this faith to see whether we in the truth or not you know you know so like like i said man this morning i woke up and the first thing that came upon my mind was everything is temporal temporary because you can get caught up you know into uh what you have you know or whatever it is you're striving for and thinking that you know you know you own it you know in our reality we don't own shit man you know we don't own shit and that's why the kingdom is going to be so much more beautiful because we're going to live forever so whatever it is that we have we're going to have it forever man and we're going to enjoy it man we're gonna enjoy it, you know, because we're not truly living. Uh, uh, we're not truly living. We're not truly living at all. You know, we're actually just, you know, going through the motions and coping and being content and what it, and what life gives you. You know, and that's why Jake. You know, they get bored, they get tired. You know, they want to hit the lotto, so they can actually, you know, live up live up their life, you know, live out their life, or I'll say live it up, you know, in a different lifestyle, in a luxurious fashion, you know, but all those things, riches of this world, is a distraction toward your how about you, man, I was shy, because the Lord said the fashion of this world gonna pass away, you know, so what's the use of piling on treasures for the flesh in this world, when the Lord is gonna take this world out? You know, so everything is temporal. So let me continue to read. It says, um, for which cause we faint not, meaning we're not going to fall away of the truth, all right? But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, all right? For our light affliction is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And Paul said that this is a light affliction because it is. You know, until that, that terrible, uh, let's say the darker hour, the darkest hour will come. But we'll be tested of our faith in the Lord, man. But this is a light affliction compared to having the kingdom forever and living forever, man. Being perfect in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, this is definitely a light affliction. And I remember, uh, I can't think of the scripture where it's at. But uh, I think it's in the Apocrypha. Um, so like, yeah, I don't want to butcher it. But I think it's around the lines of... Um, uh, uh, you forget about uh, adversity when you have prosperity, you know. So, like, yeah, but I know it's something around those lines. But let me continue. Like I said, it's going to be a quick one. Uh, verse 18 While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things that which are not seen. So, we're not focused on, you know, the hopeful elect. We're not focused on the things that we can see, you know. We're not putting our heart spirit into the things that we can grab hold on to you know even though we have to take care of responsibility that you know but you know we're not living our life for the flesh you know for the things that we can see it says while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen and what's not seen the kingdom you know what's not seen What's not seen is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's returning, man. 
all right it says but at the things which are not seen for the things that which are seen are temporal but the things which are but the, but the things which are not seen are eternal all right so quick quick uh search for temp temporal it says temporal uh for a season enduring only for a while temporary for a while for a time temporal for a season strong's definition for the occasion only temporary for a while endure for a time for a season temporal all right so it's temporary man so only we going through this shit under esau you know it's just temporary man you know it seems longer than what it is but it's actually just temporary so it says for the things that which are seen are temporal but the things that which are not seen are eternal all right and what's not seen like i said is the kingdom yahweh shah returning you know the elect king david all right 12 12 apostles that walk with yahweh shah all of us being made perfect you know uh scriptures say love work with no ill to his neighbor you know because we're keeping of the law you know no more vexation between judah and ephraim you know women in order you know we're, we're ruling the earth you know uh great food you know animals at peace the, the, the trees are at peace the world is at peace that's what's not seen you know and two-thirds of our people they don't look forward to that they can't imagine that but we see it you know we imagine it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because that's up next to rule. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.